All right. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Kay. And today we are going to do a language question using picture cards. So I have a bunch of cards here. And the categories that are on these cards and the pictures cover furniture, animals, foods, children's toys, kitchen items, home items, school items, and clothes. So I have a box here. I'm gonna put them in my box and I'm gonna mix them all up. Here we go. Here's my mystery. And now I'm gonna pull out a card and then we're gonna talk about them. And I'm gonna ask you some questions. Here we go. My first card, aha. Does anybody know what this is? What would you use this for? All right, so one, what is it? It is paint and a paintbrush. Okay, good job. Now, two, what would we use this for? What class would we use this for? Yep, if you were in my class, you would have Miss O that would come to us for art class and she would bring her paints or sometimes we would paint in class too. Remember, we would use a paintbrush and we'd paint in your hand, okay? And we'd paint other things. So, can you say, I would use a paintbrush to paint? Your turn. I would use a paintbrush to paint. Good job. All right, what's our next one? Let's figure this out. Oh, all right, this should be an easy one. Does anybody know what these are? And what would you use these for? Where would you put them? Okay, so one, what are they? They are socks. Two, what would we use them for? Okay, what category did I say that it might belong in? It's clothing, socks or clothing. Where would I put the socks? I would put them on my feet. Yes, and I'd put them on my feet. What if I'm cold? Will socks help me stay warm? They sure do me. If my feet are cold, the rest of me is cold. But if I can get my feet warm, I feel much better. So you say, I put socks on my feet. Do your socks put on first or do your shoes put on first? Socks put on first. All right, good job. Let's go to our next one. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me guess. Oh, here's another one. What is this? Whoop, this way. What are these? These are shoes. Do you know what we call these shoes? Well, I call them flip-flops. Sand shoes. I use them out when you go to the beach. Have you ever been to the beach and worn flip-flops? Or in the summertime, maybe your mom and dad walk around the house in flip-flops? Yeah? So, would you put these socks on with your flip-flops? No, that little place on your toe wouldn't fit in these socks. So you really don't wear socks when you wear flip-flops, okay? There we go. All right, where's our next one? Oh, here's a fun one. Come on, boys. You've gotta know what this is. What is it, girls too? All right, it is a ball. What kind of ball is it? Yes, it is a football. There are different kinds of balls for different sports, okay? So this is a football. Okay, where would you go to see somebody play this? You'd go to a football game, yeah? You know, right now we're not seeing sports much on TV, but you could go and watch your big brother or sister play football or some people like you know, professional football play, players play. Those are usually great big guys that run and run into each other. I don't understand it, but it's football nonetheless. All right, here we go. What's our next one? Oh, let's pick, let's pick, let's pick. Hmm. Oh, somebody's gotta know what this is. What category is this in? Is this clothes or is it furniture? It is furniture, okay. Who would, who would be in this and what is it? Would you put your mom or dad in there? Would you put your puppy in there? No, this is a crib for what? For a baby, for a little baby that 
they don't want them to fall out of bed and get hurt. So they're in a crib when they're really little. Okay. Do you have a brother and sister that might have used a crib? You were older than them. You'd watch your mom and dad put them to bed in the crib, or maybe you did. You'll sing them nighttime songs. Okay. So if we put the baby in the crib, crib to sleep, when do we sleep? When would we really use this? Well, kids take naps just like you did at school, but usually at nighttime, that's when we all go to bed. Okay, so let's look at our next one. Oh, what's next, what's next, what's next? Oh, this is a good one. Alrighty, this is a what? It is a hat. And where do you wear your hat? On your head, thank you very much. So this hat has a very wide brim. That's the word for it, brim. So would we use this hat to help us when we played sports or would we use this hat when we went to the pool? Yeah, my mom would wear this hat when she went to the pool. In fact, she'd just wear it every day anyway because she wants to keep the sun off of her. So this is like a sun hat. It keeps your skin from getting sunburned because it hurts. All right, so here we go. Where's another one? Oh, I love this one. Everybody in my class ought to know what this is. What is it? It is popcorn. Do you remember pee week at school? What did we eat during pee week? We ate popcorn. We did. We ate popcorn for pee week. What is popcorn made from? Corn. Yes, it is. And all those little pieces of corn, they get really hot and they explode. And when they get really hot in the microwave or on the stove, when they explode, they turn into what we call popcorn. All right. Here we go. Let's see what else there is. Oh, here's a good one. This is what? What is this? This is a hat. It is a hat. And where does it go? On your head. Now, can you tell me the difference between the two hats? They're both hats. They both go on your head. But what's the difference? One of them I might wear when it's hot and one I might wear when it's cold. Which one am I going to wear when it's cold outside? Yes, this one is made of yarn or wool, and it's made to keep our heads warm. Okay, so I think I would wear this one if it were really cold outside. I think you would all come in off of the bus and you'd be all bundled up in your big jackets and hats. Okay, and this is a different kind of hat, like we talked about. It was the sun hat that we might wear when it's hot outside to keep the sun off of them. So now you know there's several different kinds of hats and we wear them for different reasons. All right, let's see what's next. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, here's one. Do you know what this is? Mmm, I like this a lot. This is my daughter's favorite food, believe it or not. It's called, what is it? What's the name of it? Broccoli. Is broccoli a vegetable or a fruit? Do you know? Broccoli is a vegetable. And when my girls were little, I would tell them, you have to eat your trees so you'll be healthy. And that's how I'd get them to eat them when they were little. Do you like broccoli? I love broccoli. My dad hated broccoli. He would stick it in his nose and be really silly. That's about as much as he was gonna do with broccoli. So anyway, this is very yummy. Very good. You probably eat it with ranch dressing. Mm -mm -mm. It is tasty. It's good raw and it's good when it's cooked too. Maybe when you cook it, you put some cheese on it. Yeah, there you go. All right, what's next? Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, hmm. All right, here's one. This is an interesting looking thing. Does anybody know what this is? Let me give you a hint. It is in the kitchen. Have you ever helped your mom or dad get something out that was hot? What did they put on their hands? This is called an oven mitt, and a mitten. And what it does is you slide it on your hand 
and it protects your hand when you open down the oven door and you put your hand in and you pull out your dish and that way your hands don't get burnt because otherwise you wouldn't be able to pick it up it keeps you safe so this stays in the kitchen now there are gloves for your hands to wear during the winter there's different kind of gloves just like there were different kind of hats okay this glove or mitten is for your hands to keep it safe from the heat and then there's other kind of gloves and mittens that keep you warm in the winter this is called an oven mitt and you can run into your kitchen and say hey i know what that's called now it's called an oven mitt and you can go see if your mom and dad have one i bet they do all right let's get another one let's see let's see oh my goodness we have so many choices <laughs> all right all right here is one what is this do you know what this is it is a flag okay it is a flag do you know what kind of flag it is what is this called it's called the american flag and you remember in the morning we're usually still in the gym or having breakfast and they do the pledge and they say i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and they do the pledge every morning and this represents our country and this is our flag and if you remember we have one in our classroom by the door and we hang it we've even made a flag ourselves at school okay so this is called the american flag represents the united states of america all right there's this and oh there was one i saw earlier that i thought would be really special and fun but i can't see it now maybe that's because it's called a mystery box i don't know what i'm getting oh my goodness oh what is this one oh we talked about this this is a Dinosaur. Are dinosaurs alive? Are they alive right now? Do we have dinosaurs walking around our parks? No. Dinosaurs lived a long time ago. They're not here. We're probably pretty glad because they were really big. This kind of dinosaur is called, I think this one is a triceratops. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Maybe we should look it up. For right now, we're just going to say dinosaur. But they're not alive right now. Not unless you go to Jurassic Park. All right, here we go. Oh, here's one. Oh, everybody should know what this is. Does anybody have one of these at home? It goes back and forth and back and forth. What is it? a rocking chair. Do you know why we would call it a rocking chair? Why? Because the bottom of the chair, it's made so that it rocks. And have you ever rocked and sat in a rocking chair with a baby or had your mom and dad rock you to sleep when you were little? They do that to help you settle down and feel safe and happy. A rocking chair. I used to rock my girls to sleep. Now look here, here's another one. What is this? This is also a chair, but does it look the same? No. This one might look a little more familiar to you. Does this look a little bit like my chair at school? It does, doesn't it? You always play with the feet on it. This is an office chair, or a chair we use at school, school chair. And it has wheels on it, just like mine, and I love it because it slides all around. So I can talk to all of you guys. So look here, we have two different types of chairs. We have a rocking chair and we have a office chair. There we go. What do we use chairs for? We use them to sit in. If we got to, had to stand up while we worked all day long, whew, we would be super tired by the time we got home. We would fall out. All righty. Let's see if something else is different. Oh, I've got a good one. We needed to change up. Yes, what is this one? He is a little what? He is a goat. He is a funny looking goat. All right. How many legs does he have? Can you count them? Let's count. 
One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay, he has four legs. All right, he's a little goat. What do goats say? <laughs> when I was a little girl, our next door neighbors had a goat and we lived in the city. We didn't live in a farm and the baby goat would cry. So he would have to sit outside in a chair and sleep with the goat in order to get it to stop crying. It was kind of cute and kind of sad, but he was a cute goat. But my neighbor finally had to give him to a farm because he needed other goat friends. All right, here we go. Let's see what else there is. Woo! What is this one? Oh, it's nice and bright colored. It is a what? Couch. And what do we use a couch for? We use a couch to sit on. What are you doing when you're sitting on a couch? Are you watching TV? You play video games? Are you working on your lessons? Yeah. We watch TV. Sometimes eat dinner while we're on the couch and watch TV. Yeah. Give you a rest after a long school day. Oh, here's a good one. What are these? Mm, they are yummy, yummy, yummy. What are these called? Uh, uh. Pancakes. Pancakes. When do we usually eat pancakes? Do we usually eat them in the morning or do we usually eat them at, in the middle of the day? We usually eat them in the morning. Sometimes I like to eat them at night because I'm always hurrying in the morning and I have more time to eat my pancakes if I eat them at night, so I'm kind of silly that way. I love pancakes. You can put syrup on them, and there's butter. Some people put chocolate, the chocolate chips in pancakes. Some people put strawberries, blueberries on there. Mm -mm -mm. Makes me want to go to IHOP, get some pancakes. All right, everybody, it's making me hungry. Oh my goodness, what is this? It is a duck. What's a duck say? Quack, quack. Yes, and where would we normally see a duck? We would normally see a duck at the park. Yeah, or when we went fishing, maybe to a lake somewhere. I have a friend that has a swimming pool and the ducks are swimming in her swimming pool. I wish I was in her swimming pool. Here it is, it's a duck, quack, quack. I grew up with these ducks and I used to be able, when I was a little girl, I would sit down real quiet and I'd hold food in my hand and the duck would walk up and I'd very carefully pick him up and I'd put my arms around him and I could pick him up and put him in my lap and I would catch him and hold him. And then when I was done feeding them and petting them, I'd just let them go and they'd walk back to the lake. I never kept them for long, just a few minutes, but it was fun to catch them. All right, there's a good one. All righty. Ooh, this is a good one. What is this? It looks like a horse and it has stripes. It is a zebra. And the one thing that's really, really cool about zebras, zebras are like our fingerprints and they're like butterflies. And they're like so many other animals that no pattern is ever the same. So, their patterns of stripes on their bodies make them unique. No zebra has the same set of stripes as another one, just like our fingerprints on our fingertips. Now, last week I sent you videos about learning about the continents and this zebra mainly lives on one continent. Where does he come from? Do you know? Africa. Yes, zebras live in Africa. Now, we don't live anywhere near Africa, but there is somewhere in the city we could go if we wanted to see a zebra. Where would we go to see an animal like this? An African zebra or an African elephant or something else, a lion. Where would we go? We would go to the zoo. So if you haven't gone to the zoo lately, ask mom and dad. It used to be a free on Tuesdays. I think it might still be. So that's awesome. There we go. All right. And, oh, here's a big one. All right, what is this? Woohoo! This is an oven. 
we just were talking about an oven. Hmm, what were we talking about? Something that went with the oven. And that's right, we had the oven mitt. The oven mitt helps us do what? It helps us get the things out of the oven when the oven is hot. See, we pull down the door and it's whoop, whoop, hot, hot, hot. So we put this on our hand and we pull the oven door down and then we put it on top of the oven to cool off before we get to eat. The oven is hot. Don't ever use an oven or turn it on without mom and dad. Mom and dad have to be the ones to do it because this is a very good tool to have in your kitchen, but it could be really unsafe if you don't have a grown up around. So make sure your mom and dad are there. Okay. And let's see what else. All right. Ooh, what's this one? This is a t -t tiger. Yes, he is. And tigers are known by their stripes. And tigers, do you know, are very good swimmers. Most cats we know do not like to swim. They hate water and they'll scratch and scream if you try to give them a bath. Tigers like to swim. Again, the tiger comes from a different continent than the one we're on. When you were looking at the videos, do you remember what continent the tigers live on? They live in Asia, okay? They live in the forest there. So where else would we go if we wanted to see a tiger and we couldn't leave the city? Where would we go? We would go to the zoo. Yes, we would. All right, so there's your tiger. All right, what is this? Oh, look at me. I need to do my hair. What is this? It's a mirror. What do we use a mirror for? Oh, I need to do my makeup. We use a mirror to look at our face and see if we look okay. Shows your reflection. That means that you can see yourself in the image. Reflection is the big word. And a mirror will show you your reflection or anything else you want to see. My husband uses one because he cuts his own hair and he has to be able to see in the back when he cuts it. So, anyway, there's that. And let's do about two more. All right. Oh my goodness, here's one that I just left. What are these? These are called oranges. Is an orange a fruit or a vegetable? Do you know? An orange is a fruit. All right, an orange is a fruit. And a lot of our oranges come from Florida and they are nice and juicy and citrus and you squeeze a whole bunch of these and you make orange juice, okay? They are yummy, yummy, I love them. Okay, let's find one more. Oh, who knows? All right, what is this one? This one is a Fish. He's a fish. Do you know what kind of fish he is? What's he called? Goldfish. Do you have any goldfish or have, do you have a little tank? I have a surprise for you. I'm going to try to get a tank for us for next year. Just a little one like this and maybe have some little beta fish or something. Because I think we're allowed to have fish in the classroom. That's really about all the pets we can have now. But it would be cool to have a fish, wouldn't it? Do fish live in the water or on the land? They live in the water, so they breathe water. They don't breathe air. If you take them out and you put them on the table, will he live? No, nope. he will not. He has to stay in the water. And he'll swim around and around. All right. I'm so glad you were here for today's language lesson. I hope to see you again soon. Bye, everybody.